Hi, ladies. Hi, gents. Palm Springs, Cindy, coming to you from my office, but a different point of view. I'm sitting here in this big, gorgeous chair <laughs> that actually folds out to a um, twin bed. I'm looking at this cross. There, that's better. Well, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed my story about my gas pump fiasco. <laughs> it really was, but it was, it was, it was so pathetic, but it was still funny. Okay, I'm kind of, uh, even though I'm in a new chair, the gal that bought my home in Palm Springs, her name, uh, well, she's, uh, she and I have become friends. And so she bought me, she bought me for a home, uh, like a, a new home housewarming gift. She bought me this, I think I may have told you this, but she bought me this ring light. So it's on a stand, it's a ring light. And so I'm, I'm trying to, I'm using that right now. I have a new editing program. I have this new light and I've, so some of my videos have looked a bit dark and I've tried to redo them. One of them that I've redone recently was the one, the video for my new subscribers or anybody that was new to my channel. So I did redo that one. Okay. Oh my gosh, I had a busy day and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do the reveal to my guest bedroom. I think it looks so cool and I hope you do too. Alrighty, so. <laughs> I have some, I have some, well, I have two stories I want to share with you. One is a bit funny, like the gas pump story. And the other one is something about Best Buy. Okay, for some of you, you may know that a while ago, I bought a, um, a fry, an air fryer from Best Buy. What was the name of it? Um, <coughs> well, I forget. It's, it's like a, a well-known brand. And so the, I bought it, I wanted to get one and they had, um, anyway, I bought it online because I'm an online shopper and with COVID and I don't like driving around. I don't like standing in line. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm bad about that. So I just went online and I went to Best Buy's website and I bought this uh, air fryer. Okay, it arrived. Well, in the meantime, I have a friend that lives here at Trilogy named Jill. Hi, Jill. And Jill, I mentioned to Jill that I had purchased uh, an air fryer. Dang, what is the name of it? And so she said, oh, I wish you would have told me because you could have, I would have given you mine. I have one. I don't use it. I forget it's even in my cupboard. So I said, oh, really? Because maybe I will. And she said, and if I really want to use it, I'll come over and get it. And I was like, sounds good to me. So I made a mental note uh, not to open it, but to take, but to return it to Best Buy. So the other day I had a few things I needed to return. So I, I started out with Best Buy and I took this air fryer in. Still in, all boxed up. I, I didn't open it. Well, there, you know, when you go to Best Buy, there's that like a uh, concierge that's standing at the door that, you know, checks you out and, you know, says hello and kind of like, what are you, what are you doing here? And so I said, I have a return. So then he says, oh, go stand over there, customer service. So I did. And I wait my turn. You know, we're standing on these dots that say six feet apart. Wait my turn, wait my turn. Finally, it's my turn. And I say to the gal, I'm here to return um, the air fryer. She goes, okay, follow me. So I said, I don't have the receipt, but I can, I can pull it. I can prove that I bought it. I just have to go through my email. And so she, she looked at the box and, and she typed in a number. She says, oh, I have all the information right here from the order number on the box. She said, great. So she said, have you opened it? And well, it was obvious I had not opened it. And I said, no. And so, so she proceeded to open it and she, it was in a, it was in a, like a, uh, UPS box and then inside of that was an untouched box with the Ninja air dryer air fryer <laughs> so she um, she got her little knife thing out you know her little zip knife and she 
undid the box and she got the um she got the product out she ended up even opening the the best buy box that it was in took everything out looked at it so um i said you know can i just get my get the money back on my credit card and she said oh you know what um this is over two weeks old so you i can only give you store credit so I was like, okay, okay. So I got, you know, my bad. So I got a little store credit card. And I thought, I thought, you know, I wanted uh, Geek Squad to come to my house to help me with my computer. That's why I can't, I can't upload straight to YouTube. Hopefully now I can because I have this new editing program. So I said, oh, well, you know, can I put this $100, I'll say, on, on a visit from Geek Squad? And she said, uh, oh, no, that's a different department. And 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 so I was like, okay. So then I, I thought to myself, you know what? I could use a new printer. So I'm going to go over to the printer section of Best Buy. And I and I did. I looked around. Best Buy was not really crowded, but, you know, there were there were people there. So I went over to the um, uh, printers. And I thought, you know, I don't want anything fancy schmancy. I just want a printer and with and a copier, you know, all in one. And I want it fairly small because I wanted it to fit in my new cupboards. And I wanted it to be, um, I didn't want to have to plug it in. I don't want another cord draping out. I wanted it to just be automatic or whatever that's called. So uh, so I, I saw, there were a couple little computers, I mean, little printers. So I, I had to, look around for a salesperson, look around, look around. Finally, I, I just, I stood behind another couple that were buying something and I waited my turn, probably eight minutes, which is a long time. And then it was my turn. And, and so I said, hi, you know, I'm here. I want to buy a printer. Let me show you the one that I, that I want. So he, we walk over to the printers and I said, you know, this is the one I want. And he said, oh, that's not, we don't have that in stock. So I was like, so then there was there was another one similar. So I says, well, how about this one? And he goes, oh, we don't have that in stock either. So I was like, okay, well, um, and I kind of walked up and looked at a few more. And, and then I said, what do you have in stock? And he said, well, we only have, and he walked me down this aisle to the printers that were like $800. And he said, we have this one in stock. And I thought, I said, I'm sure you do because it's like $800. So I said, okay, well, forget it. So then I thought, and, and I was irritated because I thought, you know, the last time I was there to buy that, um, my Dyson, they they did not have that in stock either. You know, they don't have anything, in, they don't have anything in stock. So I want, so then I went over to the Geek Squad area because I thought, well, I'm going to make an appointment with Geek Squad. So I stood there and I stood there. I waited and I waited. Finally, I like, I was just, I was tired of waiting. So I, I thought, well, I'll just have to, I'll call or I'll come in another day. So I left and <laughs> so the concierge at the front door, you know, I said, I am an unhappy customer. I, I got a, I couldn't turn in my ninja because, oh, the other reason, she, the first reason she told me was, she said, oh, we don't have, we don't, we don't have this model in stock. So I can't give you your money back. Then when she realized it was two, it had been two weeks, then she said, oh, and plus it's been two weeks. So, okay. So he, he's that, so the, the concierge said, well, yeah, because it's been over two weeks. And I said, well, okay, my bad. But then I have my little gift card and I wanted to get a, a printer and you know, you don't have any in stock, but one that's like $800. Then I went over to the, anyway, I told him my whole sorry story and and he just stood there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he said, "Well, that's just the way it is since COVID." And I thought, "Oh, COVID, schmovid. You know, it's been like that here for so long. Well, it's a new way of life. It's a new way of life." <laughs> okay, so here's my funny story. <laughs> I can't believe this. Years ago, um, well, when I was still working, I was teaching, so. If I ever wanted to get like blood drawn, I and I was fasting, I would go in the morning early. You know those blood draw places open early. So I would go early on my way to work, on my way to school. And 
usually if you're there that early, it's not crowded. You know, if you're there at six in the morning or 6.30 in the morning, it's not crowded. So I, um, I got there early, but I still had a sense of urgency because I knew I didn't have time to putz around. You know, I needed to get to school because my big nightmare is that I wouldn't be there and all my students would be standing in line because the bell had rung and, and they would be like, where's Mrs. Hollinger? So I went to get a blood draw and I, you know, walked in, I registered, they, you know, have a seat, we'll call you when it's your turn. And I did, I sat down, they called me in, I went in my little room and there were, I sat there, you know, they've got those little funny chairs with a little desk in front that cup around and then you put your arm like that. So I sat down, I put my purse down, I got, I got in position, like hurry up, come in, I've got to get to work. Well, within a few minutes, two men came in in their little white robes and one was more, one was older than the other one. So th these two men came in and it, they kind of were talking, mumbling and talking and they had the little blood basket thing, you know. And as I was, as I was sitting there, I was eavesdropping and I was kind of like, what are they talking about? Like, let's get the show on the road. Plus I'm a little nervous, you know, to give blood. It's like, come on, I want to get this over with. So I, I was sitting there and they were talking and then, then it became clear to me that that one of the men it, it was like an orientation for the other guy. He was like, yeah, and then when you're done, use the trash can and and yeah, and then we put, you know, the file over here, or whatever. And so the guy, the guy in orientation was like, okay, oh yeah, good, got it, got it. So then the teacher guy, the one giving the orientation, leaves. And it's me and the and the newbie, the one that was learning about where to put the paperwork and where the trash can was. <laughs> so I thought. So I'm sitting there and I, you know, I put my arm out and I'm waiting for him to put, you know, they put that rubber band thing around your arm or whatever. So I'm kind of like waiting. Come on, let's get going. Well, he kind of paced a little bit, kind of walked this way, kind of walked that way. You know, two steps here, two steps there, two steps back. Took a couple deep breaths, took another. I, I was like, come on, let's get this show on the road. All of a sudden he fainted. I kid you not, he like, he just, he collapsed. And as he collapsed, he, those rooms were really tiny. As he collapsed, he hit the back wall and just fell down like a sack of potatoes. So I'm sitting there kind of locked in, the, in this chair and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he just fainted. So I got myself out of the chair and I ran out to the hall and I said, um, I didn't want to scream, help, help, but I didn't know what else to scream. I didn't want to scare everybody in the whole place. But I said, excuse me, <laughs> man down, man down. So nobody came, nobody came to my rescue or his rescue. So um, so anyway, I like just stood out in the hall. Then I'd take a few steps in the room and like see if he was still breathing if he had bumped his head or was bleeding. Well, anyway, it was like a couple minutes before help came in. And I said, I said, he fainted. I, he didn't do my blood at all, but he fainted before he could do it. And they said, okay, ma'am, ma'am, come with me. They got me out of there, put me in another room. I did get my blood drawn and then they took care of him somehow. But I thought, holy moly, just my luck. The technician would, uh, the technician would faint, not the patient, the technician. So anyway, that's my funny story. Ay, ay, ay. Um, okay, now I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to take you into uh, the, I'm going to do the guest bedroom reveal. My friend Donna, this is thanks to my friend Donna who spent the day here with me. We, she put up the curtains. I, all I did was hand her the hammer, hand her a little screwdriver, hand her a whatever. And she did everything else. And then this morning, when she first got here, we had to go to Builder Supply, not Builder Supply, Home Depot, and we had to buy some hardware that was I, that was missing. So we got that taken care of. Then we went to lunch at the tack room at the Polo Grounds. And I, I did not have my phone with me. I couldn't believe it, but there was like polo going on and the horses and the guys in their uniforms and those polo sticks were going. It was so cool. Okay, so you missed that, but I didn't. <laughs>
I didn't. All right, let me see. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Follow me. Okay, we're leaving my office. We're going down to the guest bedroom. There's Shelby. Hi, Shell. She's so sweet. Okay, notice the rug. Ralph Lauren has these great rugs. And I've noticed that every rug I have purchased for my home has been a Ralph Lauren rug. So Ralph Lauren rug, here's my bed, my pretty bed, my pretty headboard. It's white velvet, two side lamps. Let me get over here like this. As you know, the wallpaper. Then of course, there's the closet. Here is the I love the way the shadows are on the ceiling. Those are speakers for my sound system. Then, look how pretty these look. The curtains. Do you know, and this chair that I got at Home Goods that matches the blue in the wallpaper. Then, because the bedroom is so small, I got these two little end tables and put them together. And then if I want to use them for end tables, I really could. Now I'm thinking I'm, I need artwork to the right and to the left of the mirror. And I will think about that. And then um, once again, my beautiful new curtains that go all the way down to the floor. I need to get my steamer out. And then look what's here. Remember these little guys? And I think they look cute here. They have a little personality. Donna picked out the, um, <laughs> the plants for their head. And then this is like the regular uh, window cover. You pull this down and then it's a blackout. Nobody can see in or out. So, okay, you guys, what do you think? I love it. I love, love, love it. I put my headboard on risers to make it stand taller. And uh, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted white or this pretty beige uh, bedspread. So Donna told, sh showed me how to do that. And I love it. So, okay, ladies and gents. So when you guys come over, this will be your guest bedroom. That I, the only thing I have left, I have this wall that I want painted. This is my big entry wall. And I do have a giant painting coming on that for that wall, like this one. And then my bathroom is, uh, has to get done. Let me bring you in here. And Johnny said he can come uh, not until the 12th. I did get my big shower curtain, but I still have to put it up higher because look down here. It's still too low. And look at this cute thing I got. Now, this candle has to be an, a battery-operated one. Otherwise, my shower curtain will burn. And then uh, that's my soap. And then you can put your... your uh, telephone or MacBook or whatever there. And then over there is a little hole for a glass of, uh, put a little cold glass of water or whatever in. So I thought that was so cute. That would make a really nice gift. So, okay, that's my, so, th and I'm gonna have the this mirror taken out. I'm gonna have the medicine cabinet taken out. And I'm gonna have this uh, towel bar removed. So that, uh, it, it will, I'll have more wall space. And I love my, my little um, light there. So, okay, you guys. <laughs> um, that's it. Let's see if I can. So this is Palm Spring Cindy coming to you from my guest bedroom that has my new curtains. And I'm thrilled. 
<laughs> and I'm thrilled that I like my little head people. They're so cute. In fact, they're so cute, we're going to end with them until our next conversation.